Welcome back, Blender folks. Welcome back, Blender people. In this video, I just wanted to show y'all how to make a basic terrain with hills, maybe some mountains. I don't know, you know, just the basic stuff. You need that for a lot of a lot of projects. We'll need a landscape. So let's just get right into it. Delete the default cube. Add a plane. Scale the plane up. Let's make it pretty big. That'll work. Go into edit mode. For some reason my screencast keys are not working. Let me turn those on real quick. Alright. Alright, go into edit mode and subdivide. I'm going to subdivide this quite a bit. Your camera is going to be your point of view, so just go into camera mode. You see those squares? Your faces here, th this is going to be your detail. So the more vertices you have, the more faces, the more detail. I'm going to do it one more time. I think that should be good enough. If it's not, we can always come back and add a one layer of subsurf, something like that. Um, okay, so there we go. Well, that's top view. I like to be in perspective, though. So, just all right. Now let's go into sculpt. Sculpt mode. All right, and we're going to go up here to grab and. I think it's under options. We are going to lock Y and X so that when we grab stuff, it doesn't go off to the side because that can cause some nasty creases in your mesh. So here we are. Let's zoom out to the edges. You're not going to want people to look off the edge of your world. So I usually close it in like a big bathtub. And I really like this anchored um, stroke for for this purpose. You know, all you do is left click, right to determine the size of what you're going to do, and then there you go. Now this process is done best by small, gradual building up. All right, like that. Grab another spot. Go up spot up and you really will have a lot of trouble messing this up the the more you mess it up the more it really looks pretty real All right and then first I just get the outside to where you've got some mountains or something blocking the void that's behind it and then you know just go through and make those bigger smaller add some down you know landscape doesn't just go up do a meteor impacts stuff like that now I guess to make this look even better for y'all turn on GLSL shading display GLSL all right that back and turn on textured. 
everything's going to go black. But we are going to take our lamp and turn it into a sun. Oh, that's uh, odd. Alright, now we'll grab it along Z, and then everything's illuminated. Now, on a side note, your sun, along with a couple of the other light sources, are just directional. It doesn't matter where they are. You know, I can I can move it anywhere, but when I rotate it is when it will have an effect. It's automatically assigned to be like infinitely high in the sky. So as long as it's not below plane or in your plane, because it will be it can be occluded the light from it. So now we've got this scene that looks like this. Let's turn on, uh, let's see what object mode, smooth, we'll make this all look real shiny and stuff, you know, and landscapes aren't shiny, so I mean you can turn down your diffuse, I mean your uh, specularity, and what you're going to learn in 3D modeling and stuff is that most everything is done with textures. I mean you can do it you can make something photorealistic and try to model every atom of an object, but you're going to learn that unless you are super rich and can afford a really outstanding computer, that this is just not feasible for the average modeler. So you have to incorporate textures. And I'll do that real quick just to show you what I mean. To add an image, open some grass or sand, maybe rock. Let's see, textures. Let's see what we got here. I really like this texture, but let's do some grass. Terrain. Alright. This one's not square, but I think it's a good one. Alright, we'll use this one. Let's see what that does. Alright, now that's not to scale, or you have uh, blades of grass that are as tall as trees. So all you have to do is uh, do sampling and turn that up to do, 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 pretty high, actually. Now, this is the problem with it. You see this tiling. And that's okay as long as you're not too far away from it. Now, but if we render. Fix the camera. Put it out to the distance. Uh, turn. Uh, one thing is, uh, by default, I think your camera and your view clips, which means it cuts off at a hundred Blender units. So to fix that, if you start to see that your your whatever is your terrain is being clipped off, you just go down to this clipping thing and just start change it to a thousand that should fix it okay there you know what let's just add a zero ten thousand okay and let's render it out and see that looks pretty good you know uh, it may needs to be uh add one more level but you know grass doesn't grow on mountains so you have to add another texture to the mountains and uh, anyway this isn't a texturing tutorial but you can see that that is pretty well getting on your way there and look at that specularity is kind of working like rock In another tutorial I'll show you how you um, how you blend textures one into the next but I think this tutorial is just about over. That is how you create your terrain. Now you see how it's clipping off right here? Just as a last note, that is your view clipping, which is controlled through this end menu, I believe. It's right here under view. Now if I change this to 10, 1, 2, 3, 000, 10, 000, and it fixes it. 
get that and that has about 66,000 vertices which is not too bad anyway all right there you go that is your terrain